lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm super excited for this video because it's going to be the very first video of my Amy All April. So what that is, um, I'm going to be doing a video every single day in the month of April. Kind of like an idea similar to Vlogmas, like during like December, Christmas time. But I feel like everyone does it then. I'm like, April is my birthday month. I love the month of April. So I'm like, and I've been trying to think of a name for weeks now. Like I'm like, what do I call it? So I finally came up with Amy All April, um, which I thought, you know, all A's, it's just, it's, it worked out. So, um, and I figured I would start off the Amy All April with a 50 facts or 50 things you don't know about me kind of video. I feel like this was a tag like forever ago, like OG YouTube. Like this would be like the perfect opportunity to let you guys know some little things about myself. So let's just go ahead and get started. Number one, I grew up as a military brat. My father was in the Air Force for 22 years, so I moved all over. I've had eye surgery twice. I don't know if you guys have noticed in my like up close tutorials, but when I look this way, there is a black line in my eye. I have three adoptive siblings, two little brothers and a little sister. And then I also have a biological brother and a biological sister who are both older than me. I am obsessed with Harry Styles and I'm gonna see him in concert in 87 days. I just had to throw this in there. 87 days. I'm not into spicy foods, but I will eat any spicy food for money. Like, offer me five dollars, and yes, I will take a bite of that ghost pepper. Birds literally hate me. I have been bit on the thumb. Um, I had my friend's grandma's bird actually grab my toe, would not let go, and I was like kicking my foot, and the bird would not let go of my foot, and literally like bit me and left bite marks. So, I'm not about the bird life. I think they're cute. I just, they don't like me, okay? That's the problem. I do almost nothing with my left hand. Like, I am so right hand dominant. It's ridiculous. I was in color guard in high school. For two years, I did flags, and then two years, I did rifles. My very last year, I was the rifle sergeant, which was cool. Um, and I will always have such a special place in my heart for color guard. My favorite show that we did was Les Mis. I could listen to the soundtrack all day. My very first football game was an FSU versus Florida Gators game, and I am an FSU fan. I'm actually wearing a little FSU um, sweatshirt right now, and the reason I got to go to that game is because my dad had gotten tickets and he was going to take my brother because my brother really liked football, and he got ammonia, and I was so excited. I was so happy. FSU lost but that was my first football game. I used to have a British accent. I lived in England when I was younger, um, which obviously is a lot easier to kind of develop and go with the language that you're learning or that you're hearing a lot when you're younger, but obviously I lost it over time once I returned to the United States, which is so devastating. I have taken four and a half years of Spanish classes and I took a year and a half of French. I used to be terrified of roller coasters. I'm gonna leave a little picture here if I can find it. It is so embarrassing. But when I was in sixth grade, my dad, we went to a, an amusement park and he was like, you know, if you sit in the front, you're already halfway down before you even get on like the biggest hill. Like it's okay. It's going to be just fine. I was like, all right, you know what? I'll go on with him. It'll be okay. I literally thought I died. My parents saw this picture and they had to buy it because my face was like pure terror. I actually love roller coasters now. I think they're awesome. But when I was a kid petrified. I love the feeling of being in a big city, like having tall skyscrapers all around you and just traffic and people and just like the rush of life. I think it is such a cool feeling. So this is a really funny story, kind of embarrassing, but hey, um, when I was in sixth grade, another sixth grade story, I was like such an embarrassing middle schooler. Um, I got a new shirt at the mall. I was at my aunt's house and I was like, I'm going to go try it on. So I'm in the bathroom. I'm like throwing my clothes off, you know, I'm like throwing my little training bra and I'm trying the shirt on like... <laughs> What is that? And I looked down and I realized I threw my bra on a candle and it was on fire. Luckily, there was a sink right there. I threw it in the sink. I turned the water on. I was like, ah, my bra is on fire. <laughs> Why am I putting this online? I just feel like it's a funny story. How many people could say that they accidentally lit their bra on fire? Well, my mom had my brother and my sister prematurely and whenever she was having me she actually got in a car accident and they were like why are you not in labor like they were blown away that she like the stress or whatever it was that she still wasn't in labor and i actually was the only one of my mom's biological children that came on time in all of my years elementary school middle school high school i never once got in trouble not a single time not a um 
dress code policy or whatever no detentions no suspensions nothing i never even went to like the front office ever so i was kind of a goody two shoes but i just really like following the rules when i was younger i used to have bright purple glasses i struggle with anxiety um it's definitely gone down a lot in the past year i've been kind of getting it under control but that is something that i personally struggle with and kind of waves of depression so um, I really think that talking about mental illness and being open about it is super important. I am 100% a night owl. When I was in 7th grade, I was actually published in my local newspaper. It was an article on, um, there was like a bill that or a law that was going to be passed on teachers' pay, um, depending on whether the students got good grades or not, which I thought was really crappy, and I wrote a, like, editorial, um, article about it. I have never broken a bone despite being the biggest klutz ever. And speaking of being the biggest klutz ever, when I was in sixth grade I fell on my treadmill. I was trying to go as fast as I could and for some reason I I went way too fast. I fell. My nickname is Supergirl because I guess I was like laying there like this like stuck on the machine couldn't get off. It was going. I completely took like almost all the skin off my knees, all the skin off my ankles. I get hip and knee pain from the weather. Every time I say this, someone's like, you sound like my grandpa. And I'm like, I know, it's it's the struggle. So I thought I would show you guys kind of something funny. I don't know if you can tell, but if I put my hand up like this, this finger right here is completely crooked. I messed it up so bad doing a rifle. I used to be able to jump into my splits. I think if I did that now, I would actually die. So this is kind of like a funny one. When I was way younger, I used to think that armpit fat was a secret. So stay with me here. You know when you're wearing like a tank top and there's like just like a little bit of like skin here that gets pinched? I used to always like ask my mom, I'm like, why is there skin there? Like why is it there? And she wouldn't like tell me an answer. And so I thought it was something bad. I have no idea. My ultimate life dream would be to have horses. Like I have always wanted horses. I've gone riding a few times. If I was ever in like a place where I had a good amount of money, I would want horses or at least a horse. Like I would be content. I would love to have a horse, but I don't know if they need friends. Like are you supposed to have two horses? Like I don't want them to get lonely. Like maybe I need two horses. <laughs> so my other ultimate goal is that if I came into a lot of money, one thing I've always said is I would buy my dad a Corvette. That is his favorite car ever and that would be the coolest thing in the world. Younger, I think I was four years old. I was playing hide and seek. I was under the bathroom cabinet, and you know how like the door, like okay, let's just say the door is closed like this. I had like my little finger sticking out because obviously I was scared of the dark. I was like four, and my brother, being a jerk, slammed the door shut, and literally half my finger like fell off, like it was like hanging on, and I had to get rushed to the ER, and they had to stitch my finger up. Actually, I think it was my pinky finger is what this one right here is how I was holding it up. So. Yeah, that happened. I have slept through an earthquake, and I have slept through a fire drill, and I have slept through my entire house filling up with smoke. My favorite part of living in England was going to the pub. <laughs> I, like I said, I was younger. I was like seven, eight, and my Nana would always bring me. Of course, it was during daytime. It was like a very nice little place to hang out, and I would always have, um, oh, I used to think it was the funniest thing, um, Chips and fries are are def different, so when I would ask for fries, obviously I'd get chips. I used to think that was the funniest thing. The owner had like this big dog I would always play with, and I just remember loving that pub. Like that pub was my favorite place to go. I always get fed good. All the old people loved me, so. So I kind of like seeing gross stuff. Not like super, super gross, but just like medical wise, like I think that some things are really cool to see. And I've even joked like, if I was going to have a C-section, like in the past when I was pregnant, I was like, I wish I could watch. But, I mean, obviously you can't. They put, like, the little sheet up to keep everything sterile. But I'm like, that'd be so cool to see my insides. <laughs> so, I know you guys probably can't tell because I'm, like, the whitest white person ever. And I've got ginger hair. But I'm actually Native American. Um, my dad and his, like, side of the family, they are, like, have dark hair, darker features, like, tan skin. And then from the other side, the side that you can obviously see, the fact that I'm Irish, um, my great, great, I think, it, I can't remember if it was two greats or three greats, grandma actually came over from Cork, Ireland as an indentured servant. And then I thought I would include that my seventh great, 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 
grandpa actually discovered coal in Pennsylvania. His name is Philip Ginter. If you go to like the very, very, very small town where my dad is from, they actually have like a little sign and everything up for him. Um, so he kind of helped with the industrial revolution in Pennsylvania. I love pineapple on my pizza, but I hate ham. I'm not a ham fan at all, so I will literally just order a pizza with extra pineapple. I love the WWE, specifically the um, women's wrestlers. I'm all about it. I don't care if it's nerdy. My son is actually named after Roman Reigns the wrestler, so. But I thought it would be fun to go through all the places I lived because I feel like I've lived a lot of places. So I was born in Alabama, then I moved to Alaska, then I moved to England, and then I moved to Florida. Um, and from Florida, I moved to Pennsylvania, and then from Pennsylvania, I went to Missouri, then Texas, and then back to Pennsylvania. I love books so much. I feel like I am a pretty fast reader. I go through them super fast, especially when it's a really good book. I could just, I just love sitting down at the end of a long day with a cup of tea and a nice romantic novel. And I wanted to mention that I am a hopeless romantic always thinking of the most romantic situation that I have the absolute craziest dreams. My favorite dream is me walking along and I feel like everyone's looking at me. They think I'm looking so good. I'm feeling like awesome about myself. Everyone's clapping, standing up for me. And then I turn around and there is a bear on its like back legs strutting its stuff like on a runway and they're all looking at the bear, not me. Tell me that's not the weirdest dream. If I could travel anywhere in the world, it would 100% be Europe. I would be all over Europe right now. So even though I spent most of my life in Florida, I hate the beach. And one of the reasons why is because when I was younger, I actually was in the water and got stung by a jellyfish completely around my waist, like my entire waist and all the way down my thigh. It was a huge sting and it hurt so bad. So my last thing that you don't know about me, or you might because I mean it's a little bit obvious, but I just love my YouTube channel so much and I just like doing videos is my passion it just makes me so so happy I love replying to your comments I love getting to know you guys like making friends with y'all like I just think it is the most amazing thing and honestly like this last year I feel like YouTube has helped me get through some of the hardest times of my life so I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos for subscribing for commenting it just means the world to me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Please leave me a random fact about yourself. I would love to get to know you guys even better too. Um, so that's everything. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.